Are you trying to decide whether the iPad Pro is great for college? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you why the iPad Pro is great for college based on my own experience as a mechanical engineering student over the past two and a half years. So if you're interested in this video and other content like this, please consider liking and subscribing the video and we'll get started right now. first and probably most obvious reason why I think the iPad Pro is great for college is going to be for taking notes. Now with digital notes you have the option of storing these in multiple locations in the cloud which is really nice for accessing them later and on different devices. Whereas with a physical notebook with your notes you could lose that and then you're kind of you know you're kind of screwed in that situation but with this you can store it anywhere and if you get a new iPad transfer it over or if you lose it in whatever the case is as long as you back it up you'll have it in multiple different locations no matter what the scenario is which is really great and really comes in handy. Now as far as taking notes on the iPad goes you know once you get used to the handwriting of it I think it actually improves and it's really quick to write notes on the iPad and it's really neat too, especially if you're usually a messy person or if your professor messes up a lot during lecture. This helps you reorganize your notes and erase things very easily, whereas on paper you might get all these smudge marks or crunch the paper or something like that. So you don't have that problem here. On the plus side as well, you don't have to carry around all these different highlighters and markers all the time because the iPad Pro just has the one Apple Pencil and then everything else is digital as far as colors, highlighters, pens, you know, everything is digital. So that also helps as well. Plus, when you're taking the notes, you know, if you draw a lot of shapes like I do as an engineering student, you can use the shape tool. So you'll be able to get these shapes very neat and very precise as well. So that helps out a lot. All right, so after you take notes, what comes after? Studying usually, right? So when it comes to studying, a lot of the things apply as far as note taking goes with all the different options you have. Something that I found really helpful is making my own practice exams or if I get a practice exam from the professor that has the solutions on there, I can just white it out and work it out on top of that so that way I don't have to worry about you know, seeing the answers while I'm working on it and it's in the test format as I would expect on the actual exam day. So that's something that's actually helped out a lot. On top of that, you have all these different applications and services such as Quizlet. That's probably the most well-known note card app and that you can study with on your iPhone or your iPad Pro and you can have it side by side in a dual window mode and utilize it that way while you're studying and reviewing or just making the flashcards and that's really helpful. Another point is that because everything syncs with iCloud or Google, whatever you choose as your backup device, you can actually use the notes anywhere you're at. So obviously not now during the pandemic, but you know, elsewhere in time, you will be able to be, you know, at the doctor's office or waiting in line at Starbucks, you know, something that you'd be waiting for a long time and you have nothing else to do or that you really need to study. You can actually pull up the notes on your iPhone or something more portable than your iPad. So pretty much the iPhone, but you know, you have these situations where you're not going to have the iPad Pro and having your iPhone there with your notes accessible is actually a huge plus, especially during finals times and you have to go somewhere. So next up we have organization. With organization, it really comes in handy in those times that you're gonna need to find something. So you could just scan your documents on your phone and not buy an iPad Pro, but for me, it kind of ties into my workflow while I'm at school. I can do all my assignments straight from my iPad and have the textbook open side by side. I can do quizzes and, and tests now sometimes depending on the class now that we're kind of doing at home schooling which is really cool but you know whatever your usage is it may vary but the cool part is I have everything set up to where I can find it and it's and it seems very precise for me I have it broken down by my school semester and then by the class and then from there it depends on the class format and what we're doing so if it's labs I'll do labs and lecture uh, for the class and break it down in different ways or if it's just one of my general education classes I don't organize it too much I just name the files that I that I download or what the reason is for so if it's for like a research paper I'll break it down into a research paper folder and then go from there or if I have you know SolidWorks drawings for some of my other classes I'll have just CAD designs and then break it down again in the sections there um, I found that works out better for me so I can find the assignments on its own and then also the CAD drawings on its own if I need to. Another great part about organization is 
like I said before, it syncs with your phone and everything like that. So no matter where you go, you're gonna have your papers and you don't have to worry about anything, which is a huge plus. Losing your documents sometimes can really be irritating and you can always find a printer and print something out, but you may not be able to retrieve an assignment if you lost it. You know, if the wind blew and it just took it off, you don't, you know, you're not gonna be finding that, you know, unless you get lucky. So in those situations, I think this has been a huge lifesaver when it comes to my academic career. And I would say just, just for some of the reasons I've mentioned alone, I think getting an iPad or an iPad Pro is gonna be completely worth it for school. So after you study, obviously what you're gonna be doing is taking study breaks. One thing that the iPad Pro also does is entertain you during those study breaks. You can watch a Netflix show or movie, you can watch YouTube videos or even play games. And if you have an Xbox controller or a PS4 controller, you can hook it up and play games through that as well, which is actually really cool. I don't do that, but I usually just watch YouTube videos or Netflix shows during that time. But you know, it, it does everything for you in that type of scenario. All right, so what about engineering programs? You can't really run everything on your iPad Pro that you would be able to run on a Windows computer, but what about some solutions that I have and that might benefit you? So we'll kind of try to talk about that a little bit. First up, we have MATLAB. There's a couple different formats you can use MATLAB, and that's gonna be MATLAB Mobile or MATLAB using the web browser, which I think is gonna be the best method because I recently added Simulink support, and you can do your all your Simulink and Simscape models on there very easily. And as long as you have everything synced up through MATLAB Drive, you don't have to worry about you know saving it and putting on a flash drive. You can just log in anywhere you're at and use it there, which is really cool. All right, so what about CAD designing apps? I use Onshape, which is actually has a really close resemblance to SolidWorks on the computer. And it works really well. You can use it in the web browser as well as in the app. But I think the app works really well on the iPad and you don't need to use a web browser version. And if you have a trackpad or a mouse, it's gonna work really well or with the Apple Pencil too. You can use your finger, but I think if you have an extra tool, it really helps speed things up for you. There's other CAD designing apps, I think like Shape 3D, which is really cool. And all these apps I've mentioned so far with Onshape and Shape 3D, they have a free student trial or like a free student edition that you can use. All you have to do is register and verify that you're a student. And once they approve you, you can get to use it for free. And um, so far I haven't found any limitations compared to the full version. I've only used the student version and I haven't really needed to pay anything extra for a full edition. So what did you think of this week's video? I think it's a really important topic for many because I know this is gonna be a huge investment and you know it can really dictate what other devices you might be able to get or might not be able to get as far as a laptop goes or a desktop or depending what you have already, you know, it may complement your workflow. But I highly recommend it and let me know down in the comments what your workflow is or why you bought the iPad Pro. I'm interested to know. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.